In this video I will show you private messages between Rich from Review Tech USA and a boy who he befriended in order to use for his own benefit. This kid will not be named out of respect. I must point out however this boy has mental problems that Rich knew about prior to exploiting him. See for yourself. Just a quick question. What have I done illegal? I haven't hurt anybody. I haven't made any death threats. I do admit what I did was wrong. But can you blame me? Trolling is fun. Try it sometime Rich. When you get into trolling it becomes crack. Leave the house John. John, when you get a second let's talk. Kit now I'm at school. Maybe at around 7. I added you as a friend. I'll keep it that way as long as you behave. Okay message me when you have time. I'll keep you on here as a friend if you behave. A deal? But we still need to talk. Alright, I'm ready. I'm on a train bud. But we can chat here. So first off, I told Adam to add you as well. Yes you drive me nuts, but you are a good kid when you want to be. Second, I need you to do something for me. Even after this is done I will remain friends with you and I will make sure you are not in any legal trouble because you helped. I need you to let me know what that psycho review held USA from overseas is up to. Do not tell him that we chatted, pretend you still hate me. Review Hell said he was going to talk to me about a plan but he never got back to me. John you got to keep cool with people and not troll. Look what is happening to this guy. His life may be ruined because of it. I will tell them that you listened and to give you a chance, but Adam and Philippa showed me what you did. LOL What you mean when I got pissed off at them for blocking me and I created those sock accounts pretending to be them? Yeah it was a little overboard. Just out of curiosity how can you get a man overseas like that? See the reason why I give you chances is because I can tell you are a good kid, you have issues. You admitted to them. You realize when you screw up. Even if you had helpful info and were a complete prick, I still wouldn't waste my time on you, lol. I don't care what you knew on Review Hell USA if you were that bad. I hope the Crusaders never learn of this conversation. They won't. You can screen cap this as a promise. How did they figure out last time? But I looked at his Twitter, and he has it posted there, and it is up on his Weird Anid Oil YouTube page. Wonder if it has to do with what he did to Black Bond? He was making too many enemies. He was painting himself into a corner. Something happened in real life that made him quit. He was and is too obsessed to just retire. He is either scared or getting laid. They kicked me out again. Lol, why? They think I'm a spy for Black's Bond. Lol, he also isn't gaining traction like when he was Review Held USA. Partially because I'm ignoring him, Alameo. What pisses me off too is that he knows that I can't do a full out attack on him because it would jeopardize my job. Not to mention he lives in a different country. I am working with API, private investigator, to find him. He came back. LOL don't care. He will be irrelevant now cause he won't have the same audience. I know I'm just giving you a heads up cause God knows what he's up to. Send me a link to his G+. I'll have it taken down in like 48 hours. Okay. Thank you. And thanks for the heads up. I have a case building against this guy that he is never going to recover from. Also I promise that you you'll be completely anonymous they will never know you chatted with me. My mistake was I gave him too much attention. If I can take back putting out that video about the threat I received regarding too many games, I would have. You know what, if he just stays a critic he has my blessings. You could tell him I said that. As long as he stays out of my personal life he can say whatever the fuck he wants. How does he know we are talking? 
I had to tell him that because of that, I'm scared of him dude. I don't want what happened last time. I don't want to be on their shit list again, that was a nightmare. So what's going on how do they know we are talking? I guess it's time for me to contact the police and your father again for harassing me, back the fuck off you little shit. Even when you went off the deep end before I've been kind to you. Not anymore. Keep going and I'll find a way to get your ass arrested. You irritate the shit out of me. Wow, see what people are really like behind closed doors. Rich knowingly used this kid and put him in harm's way for his own selfish agenda. Rich knew this boy had learning difficulties, but decided to throw him under the bus so he could get information on his trolls. You couldn't make this shit up even if you tried. To conclude, Rich paid a private detective to find a troll, he used a mentally disabled boy and put him in danger to get dirt on his trolls, he used emotional blackmail to control him, and bragged about censoring an account in 48 hours. I know I'm a piece of shit, I can accept that. But what I don't accept is people like Rich who pretend to be a saint, but in reality are some of the worst scum on this planet and exploit vulnerable people in this way. If you like this video please consider subscribing and following me on Twitter. Let the exposure commence.